Will the bladder explode if I hold the urine to the limit? Holding urine for a very long time is a bitterness that only those who have experienced it understand. I will teach you a little trick. When you've had to hold your urine, you can try to cross your legs and lean forward slightly to relieve it. But if you hold your urine to the limit, would your bladder explode? Human urine is produced by the kidneys and travels down through the ureters into the bladder, where it is temporarily stored. The urethral sphincter is responsible for the water release valve under the bladder, including the internal sphincter, the external sphincter, and the external sphincter will obey the instructions of the brain. When I tell you to release the brake, release it. Oh, okay, boss. When the fluid is stored to about 200 milliliters, the bladder will tell the brain that the water is almost full. If at this time, the brain tells the bladder, hold it. Then the urethral sphincter will contract to prevent urine from flowing out. When the urine has accumulated to 400 to 500 milliliters, the bladder tells the brain, open the door, let the fluids go. It's going to explode. Are you pretending you are not hearing me? And the brain responds, hold it. When the water exceeds 800 milliliters, either the sphincter muscle loses control and accidentally lets go, the success will fall short. Either we find the toilet and find that the sphincter muscle continues to contract to the point of stiffness and it is difficult to urinate. Therefore, it is basically impossible for a conscious person to rely on his willpower to force his bladder to burst. But when urinating, the bladder wall will become thinner due to expansion. At this time, if external force is applied to the bladder, such as falling, hitting, or even coughing, it may cause the bladder to rupture, and then urine will enter the abdominal cavity, resulting in abdominal infection. In addition, when you are drunk, alcohol will also make you feel sluggish to urinate, causing the bladder to rupture in drowsiness, and some diseases that block the urinary tract will also cause the bladder to rupture. Therefore, everyone must urinate when they want to urinate, and don't hold it if they have to. Frequent holding back is really not good for the body. After a long time, it will make you feel like you can't urinate when you don't need to urinate. This could cause permanent urine problems. This is because when there is a problem with the bladder receptors, there will be too much urine in the bladder. If this goes on too long, it will lead to bacterial infection and even return to the kidneys, affecting kidney function. So next time you need to go to the toilet, do go, don't wait, it is for your own good.